Betty? 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 Where are you? I'm right here, dear. Betty, guess what? You are getting a dog. Huh? No. You're getting married. What? <laughs> no. Okay, I can't guess. Look at this. Wow, it's a check for $100. It's my prize from a writing contest. You are a winner. That's great news. Thanks, Betty. What can I do with the money? I know, I know. You can give it to me. <laughs> you are funny, but I don't think so. Maybe you can buy stock. I don't know anything about the stock market. Oh dear, I don't either. I know. I can put the money in a bank account. You can put it in my bank account. <laughs> Betty, I can save the money in my account. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to the diner. I can buy you lunch. Okay. Goodbye. Come back soon. We're closed. Finally. Are you glad? I really am. Oh, is this your wallet? No. Did a customer forget it? I don't know. Maybe there is a lot of money inside. Maybe the owner's name is inside. Oh, right. Is there ID or a credit card? Yes, it says Maxwell. Maxwell? Only mom calls me Maxwell. Hey, that's my wallet. I found it. Can I borrow your credit card? You can't use my credit card. It has my signature on it. Max, you have four credit cards in your wallet. Do you use them all? Yes. Why? Are you in debt? <gasps> Max is in debt. No, I'm not. I'm careful when I charge things. Maybe I can get a credit card. Mm, a debit card is a better choice for you. Why is a debit card better than a credit card. Using a debit card is like using cash. Yes, the money comes from your bank account right away. That way you don't spend more money than you have. Oh, so I won't go into debt. That's right. And you don't pay interest. Wow, you're helping me manage my money. Thanks. <laughs> you're still young. This is a great time to learn how to manage your money. I agree. The earlier you start, the better. Max, who is the little girl in this picture? That's Sarah. Really? That's so sweet. I keep all my treasures in my wallet. My money, my credit cards, and my little sister. Aww. <laughs> Renee is in the diner with Simon's brother, Rich. He has come from the big city to visit his little brother. Simon comes in to pick up Renee after work. He is surprised to see Rich there. Rich gives Simon a big hug. Rich has a card and gifts for him. Simon's rich brother always gives him things. Rich tells Simon to open the card. Simon opens the card. It has a cash card and a gift certificate for a financial planner inside. You're giving me more gifts to help me plan my finances. Thank you, Rich. You're welcome. 
One day, you will be rich like me. <laughs> I don't want to be rich. So, what is this card? It's a cash card. They are popular in the city. People say they are the new debit cards. How do you use it? You scan the card when you pay for something. Then the money is taken from the card. How much money is on this card? I put $500 on this card for you. That's very generous. Rich. This card is useless in small town. We don't have any cash card machines. Use it when you visit me in the big city. Rich! It's, um, you boys must be hungry. Let me get you some chocolate cake. You have a great wife. Yes, I do. She's better than all the money in the world. So what's wrong with my cell phone, Simon? I'm not sure, Betty. I looked at the battery and it's fine. But, you know, this phone is pretty old. It's not old. I only bought it three years ago. <laughs> then it's really old. Technology changes every few months. Why don't you get a new phone? What kind should I get? What kind do you want? I have no idea. I don't know anything about new cell phones. New cell phones can do a lot of things. Here, look at mine. It can take pictures. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. How do I decide which phone to get? Well, Decide what features you want and how much you want to spend. Well, I want to make phone calls. <laughs> Betty, all cell phones do that. What else? I don't know. What other features are there? There are lots. You can go on the internet, read magazines, watch movies. Really? On a cell phone? Yes. So, ask people what they like about their cell phones. Read reviews online, too. Then decide. I think I know a better way. What's that? You just tell me which one to get. <laughs> Whew. It's raining. It's raining? It's pouring. The old man is snoring? <laughs> when I was a child, I used to say that. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Really? I always said, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. I said that too. <laughs> I just heard the weather report. A typhoon is coming. The rain is pretty bad out there and it's getting worse. A typhoon? Let's buy lots of food to get ready. When is a typhoon coming? Tomorrow. Are you serious? Well... Wait a minute. We don't have typhoons in this part of the world. April Fool! I'm just kidding. That's right, it's April Fool's Day. I knew that. Simon, what does the weather report really say? It will rain cats and dogs for the rest of the day. Cats and dogs will pour from the sky. Simon. Simon. <laughs> I have to go. Don't forget your umbrella. Oh, I don't need it. It's not raining. Simon. Simon. Hello, my beautiful wife. Mwah. Hello, Max. So, I am not beautiful? No, but it's a beautiful day today. It's sunny and there is a cool breeze. 
You sound like a weather person. I am. No, you are not. Yesterday, you told us the weather was bad. I was kidding yesterday. Do you want me to give you the weather report? Okay. <clears throat> Here's today's weather report. We'll have a beautiful day today. It's sunny and. You already told us that. Let him finish. There is a cool breeze, but we'll see clouds tomorrow. The temperature is going to drop. Will we have snow? There won't be any snow. I know. I just wanted to check. Good job, Simon. Hello, my name is Hugh, and who are you? I'm Ben. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Ah, I see that you are enjoying this beautiful spring day. Yes, I am. There was a light rain this morning, but at least it didn't pour. Are you a weather person? <laughs> no, I'm a salesman, and I have something just for you. Really? What? Everyone needs an umbrella, and this is a very special one. Oh, um, it looks like rain again. It's not going to rain. And that's a girl's umbrella. I guess you're right. Well, how about a thermometer? A thermometer? You can see the temperature every day. This would be perfect for your patio. This isn't my patio. I don't live here. Oh. Well, I'm still glad you're here. You are. Yes, I am, because this raincoat is perfect for you. Well, maybe it looks kind of good. It is, and it's very comfortable. Try it on. Okay. You look great. You're right. I am ready for the rain. Are you also ready to pay? Oh, right. Sarah, I'm home. Hey, Max. Look at this. What is it? It's a kit. I'm making a tricycle. Why are you making a tricycle? It's for small towns tricycle race. This year, Ben and I are in the race. Why don't you buy a tricycle? That's no fun. Ben is building a tricycle. I can build one too. Okay. Do you need help? No thanks. I can do it. Are you sure? You don't read directions. I don't need directions. I can build without them. Don't worry. Max takes the directions out of the box. He doesn't look at them. He takes everything out of the kit. Sarah reads the directions. Max puts some parts together, but they fall apart. Max gets a screwdriver. Sarah stops him. She shows him the directions. Then they work together on the tricycle. Who left a tricycle here? Renee, do you like my tricycle? I put it together. You built this tricycle? Yes. Really? You're not good at building things. But this looks great, Max. Thank you, Renee. Ben and I are going to be in the small town tricycle race, and I want to win. Great. So, how long did you work on this tricycle? Oh, not that long. 
The work was pretty easy. That's good. Look at these screws. The work is very detailed. Yes, I can see that. Good job, Max. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to start cooking. Good morning, Renee. Morning. Oh, Max brought the tricycle to work. Yes, I had fun putting it together. It was a little difficult. There were lots of small pieces. Wait, you built it? Yes. Max wanted to build it, but he didn't know how. So I helped him. I see. We worked on it for about two hours. Really? Hey, Max. Yes. Hey, Sarah. I just really like your tricycle. I did a great job. You? Uh, Sarah and I did a wonderful job together. <laughs> okay, Sarah did most of the work. I see, but Max helped. <laughs> He got the tools out. <laughs> hey, you guys didn't decorate the tricycle. So. I'm taking a DIY class for flower arrangement. I can put flowers on your tricycle for you. I have a better idea. I'll glue candies all over it. <laughs> Guess what? You won the tricycle race. Well, no. But look at this. You won the most creative decorations award for your tricycle. Good job. For my prize, I get a free DIY class. I can pick the class. Great. What class are you picking? I'll let Sarah pick, because she did the most work. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Ben. Hi, Max. What are you cooking? Can I try some? Uh, <laughs> okay. Wait, what is it? It's glue. Glue? Ew! You would let me eat glue? Well, you asked to try some. It's just flour and water. It won't hurt you. Flour and water make glue? Well, kind of. It's more like paste. Why are you making paste? You'll see. Ben, can you get that newspaper? Put it on the table. Do you need these cardboard boxes too? Yes, and the tape. What is going on? Am I early? No, you're on time. Come in. What is going on? We're having a paper mache class. And Max is the teacher. I'm learning about paper mache in my DIY class. Remember, Sarah? Oh, right! I chose that class for you. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I do. Max sounded so excited about paper mache. I asked him to teach me. Max said I could stay for dinner if I joined the class. Do you want to join us, Sarah? Well, okay. I like crafts, and I want to see if you really know what you're doing. Does everyone have something they can put the paper mache on? I have a balloon. I have a box. My bottle is ready. Good, and the paste is ready. So now we need to tear this newspaper into long strips. How wide should the strips be? About one or two inches. Ben, stop! What? That's my article. Don't tear my article. Oh, sorry. Now mix the newspaper pieces and the paste together. This is so fun. I love making a mess. Me too. I feel like a kid again. Okay. What's next? 
take the wet pieces of paper and put them on your box or your bottle or balloon. I'm done. <laughs> no, you're not. You need to cover it with two to four layers. Four layers? Then you let it dry. When it's dry, you cover it again. Again? And again and again, if you need to. Then we paint and decorate them, right? Right. We're never going to eat dinner. Don't worry. We'll take a break and eat while these are drying. The pizza should be here soon. So get back to work! Sarah is at home. She is holding a bag of flour. She sings to the flour. Then she rocks the flour a little. Sarah smiles. She puts the bag of flour on a table. Then she takes out a diaper. Sarah puts the diaper on her bag of flour. Hi, Sarah. Hi, guys. Sarah! Well, why are you putting a diaper on a bag of flour? Max, meet your nephew, Al. My nephew? Yes! He's my school project. Al is my baby, and I am his mom. Oh, I remember the flower baby project. You take the baby everywhere with you. Flower babies are not fun. Yes, they are. I am excited about this project. Babies are a big responsibility. I know. I'm ready. You say that now. Wait until the end of the week. Then stop. Let her be excited. Okay. Sorry. So, Sarah, is your son hungry? I can cook dinner for him. Max, he's not a real baby. He can't eat. Well, okay, I'm just checking. Will you please be quiet? Stop barking! <sighs> Hi, hun. You look a little tired. I am. Walking those dogs is a lot of work. Well, you do like to exercise. I know. This new dog walking job is perfect for me. Except for the dogs. Why do you say that? You like dogs. I used to like dogs before I went to the park today. What happened at the park? Well, I had to clean up after the dogs. Ew. Yeah. Then, Barky... Is that Miss Kelly's puppy? Yes, but he's not a puppy. He's just a very small dog. Does he bark a lot? Yes. When Barky saw a cat, he started barking. And then the other four dogs started barking too. What did the cat do? The cat ran away. Then all the dogs started pulling at their leashes. They wanted to get the cat. That's right. And I couldn't hold all five leashes. So the dogs got away from you? Yes. The dogs chased the cat, and I chased the dogs. I finally caught them all and came here. Oh, honey. Oh, no. Not again. Ben, no. Stop asking me. Please, Sarah. No. I can't do it. Do what? Ben wants me to take care of his cockroaches. 
I'll only be gone a few days. I just need someone to feed them. Come on, Sarah. Ben, cockroaches are not pets. And I have to take care of Al. Al? Who's Al? My baby. See, he's sleeping now. Isn't he cute? Aw, what a cute little guy. It's a bag of flour. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to take the dogs back to their owners. Hey, Simon, could you watch my cockroaches for me? I guess so. At least I won't need to walk them. Good morning, Fern. Are you thirsty? <laughs> Have some water. Hi, Betty. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Fern. Fern? Who's Fern? Fern is my plant. I just got her. I mean it. Oh, it's pretty. Why do you talk to your plant? Well, I heard that talking to plants is good for them. It can help them grow. Is Fern hard to take care of? No. I just water her often and give her plenty of sunlight. That's not too hard. It isn't. Hey, what's that you're holding? Oh, <laughs> this is Al. Al? Yes, he's my school project. Al is my baby and I'm his mom. Oh, I've heard about this project. Students take care of bags of flour like they are real babies. Right. And we have to keep a journal about our experience. So, do you talk to Al? Sometimes. I like to sing to him, too. Really? That's sweet. You're a good mom. <laughs> I like pretending to be a mom, but I'm not ready to be a real mom yet. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe I should sing to Fern. Sure. Betty had a little fern, little fern. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning, Max. How are you? I'm great. You're happy this morning. You're right. I'm very happy this morning. Why? I love spring. Flowers are beautiful. The birds are singing. But Max, spring isn't here yet. I know, but the weather is getting warmer. No more winter. Hey, uh, let's not work today. Get Simon and Sarah. We can have a picnic. That's a fun idea, but we can't close a diner today. What about our customers? They can join us at the park. No, Max. We're spring cleaning today, too, remember? Oh, yeah. Hey, we're closing early this Saturday. Let's have a picnic then. Great idea. The weather is still a little cold for a picnic, but we can still have fun. Yes, I can cook and clean. Let's not clean at our picnic. No, let's clean now. Okay. I can clean the kitchen. Thanks. Hey, 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 look at our daily special. What is it? <laughs> Spring rolls. <laughs> How was the frisbee game? <sighs> Not so good. I got hit in the head with the frisbee. Oh no. 
<gasps> How did it happen? I sneezed about seven times, so I didn't see the frisbee coming. That's too bad. Are you sick? No, I have allergies. He gets them every spring. Poor Simon. <sighs> every spring, I can't play sports outside. It's terrible. But sometimes you take medicine for allergies, then you can play outside. I know, but I feel so tired when I take that medicine. <laughs> you can try a different medicine. I'll ask my mom about it. She used to have allergies too. <laughs> used to? What happened? Is there a cure for allergies? Well, maybe. Wait here. Okay, Simon. I have something here. It might help your allergies. Close your eyes. What? Why? Just do it. Now, open your mouth. Try this. <clears throat> honey? Yes, dear? Oh, no, not you. Max gave me honey. Honey can help allergies? It helped my mom. She also eats bee pollen. Bee pollen? If it will help my allergies, I'll try anything. <laughs> Hey, Max, do you have any special plans for Sunday? Not really. I'll probably just relax. Sunday is my day off, you know. I know, but Sunday is also Easter. This Sunday is Easter? Oh, no. Don't you like Easter? Oh, it's a great holiday. I, I just remembered something. I'm cooking the Easter breakfast at church. You're cooking on your day off. I'm sorry, Max. I'm not. If Max is cooking, then breakfast will be great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it already. <laughs> I'm looking forward to small town's Easter activities in the afternoon. The parade, the Easter egg hunt. The Easter egg hunt, oh no. What's wrong? I am supposed to boil 200 eggs. And Sarah is supposed to help decorate them. So? She doesn't know yet. Renee and Sarah are in the cabin. They are putting together Easter baskets. There is a mess on the table. On one side, there are many chocolate candies and cookies. There are pens and pencils all over the table, too. Renee is decorating a basket. Sarah starts writing a letter. She yawns. Renee takes a picture from the table. She shows it to Sarah, and they both laugh. Is that Max in a bunny costume? Yes. <laughs> this picture was taken a year ago. Max and I went to the Sweet Home Orphanage on Easter. That's great. It was fun. <laughs> we celebrated Easter with the children. We gave them Easter baskets filled with candies and cookies. They love them. It's wonderful that you're going again this year. Yes, I'm excited. I'm writing letters to the children. I hope they'll be encouraged. You're tired. Yeah, Max and I stayed up late decorating eggs for the Easter egg hunt. Go to bed early tonight. I will. What are you and Simon doing for Easter? We're going to the Easter service at church and then joining the town's activities. Fun! But be careful during the Easter egg hunt. 
Max and I were so tired last night that we forgot to boil some of the eggs. Oh no! Sarah is at home. She is having a music lesson. Sarah's teacher, Chris, plays a scale. Sarah watches Chris. Then, Sarah plays the scale. But she plays a lot of wrong notes. Chris plays the scale for Sarah again. Then, Sarah tries again. This time, she plays the right notes. Good job, Sarah. These scales aren't easy. Practice them some more this week. Okay. Now, let's play a song. Which one are you practicing? I'm practicing this one. Good. Play that one for me. Very nice, Sarah. But be careful of your rhythm. Don't rush. Oh, okay. Start again. Great, Sarah. You are a really good piano player. Thanks, Chris. You are a good teacher. Maybe you can be a music teacher one day, too. Do you really think so? Yes. You are smart and you are kind. You can be a good teacher. Thanks, Chris. Hey, can you play one of your songs for me? I like your music. Sure. Are you serious? You really think Can't Buy Me Love is the best Beatles song? Well, maybe it's not the best, but it's definitely better than Twist and Shout. You're wrong. Hey, guys. What are you talking about? We're talking about the Beatles. What's your favorite Beatles song? Huh. Probably Can't Buy Me Love. <laughs> You two are crazy. Well, thanks for coming over to look at our jukebox, Simon. No problem. What's wrong with it? It keeps playing the wrong songs. Yesterday, Mrs. Moore wanted to listen to a classical song. She almost fell off the stage when the jukebox started playing rock music. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, let me look at it. How are you doing, honey? I'm fine. I'm organizing the jukebox's CDs a little. It has a lot of different kinds of music. I forgot about that. There's something for everyone. There's jazz, country, blues. The Beatles. Don't forget Elvis. Yes, Max loves Elvis. You ain't nothing but hell, no. <laughs> Simon, my good man, how is the jukebox coming along? It's just fine. I finished organizing the CDs. There are some great CDs in there. There really are. I like almost every album in there. You do, huh? What about the boy band albums? Do you like them? Sure, they're fun. Sarah really liked those when she was younger. Simon, were you in a boy band in college? Renee. What was the name of your band again, honey? The Pop Rocks. We sang pop music. They danced, too. That's great. Will you sing a song for us now, Simon? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? Simon, Simon, sing a song. <laughs> no. Come on, honey. Please. You really make my day. Oh. All right. <laughs> Yay! Go, honey.
You've been there through the sunshine and the storms. <laughs> Hi, Betty. Betty? Oh, hi, Simon. I'm listening to music on my cell phone. I thought so. That's a cool feature, isn't it? It is. I can put these earphones in my ears and listen to music anytime, and no one else can hear it. But then you can't hear anything else. You didn't hear me come in. I know. Sorry. Maybe the volume is too high. Hey, did a package come for me? I think so. I'll get it for you. It looks like you're enjoying your new cell phone. I am. Thanks again for helping me choose one. You're welcome. I love listening to music at work. Good. So, uh, did you find my package? Oh, right. I'm still looking. You know, I downloaded some music from the internet. That's great. The internet has a lot of music to choose from. <laughs> yes, it does. I also took some songs from my CDs and put them on my phone. Wow, Betty. I didn't know you knew about these technologies. I didn't. Sarah taught me. Here's your package. Thanks. Oh, hey, this is my favorite song. Listen, I'll play it on my phone speakers.